in their home in East St. Louis in Noy. The blaze cuts her off from her parents, forcing her to act quickly. Laws investors are saying it's demanding that Hamas rocket attacks against Israel stop at once. Rice commented in Tokyo, where she met with the Israeli Prime Minister, Mr. Ehud Olmert. Mr. Olmert is uh, vowing to crack down on Hamas in Gaza. Joining us now from the southern Israeli city of Sadrat. growing banking movement in India. Street Children is on the line now. She's been following this, clay, this case uh, throughout. Rulitsa, uh, we were expecting some movement on this, but this is pretty dramatic. Operator BAA, according to the Financial yeah, Times. Uh, what do you know about what's expected to happen to them once they arrive? Well, this is the big question. The foreign General minister conference, will... uh, which has been proposed by the U.S. Uh, president. Can you give us any details about a regional conference that you know about and anything that may have come from those talks? Now, this Rilla is joins us live from there to come here in Europe. An unprecedented Sunday announcement by the U.S. Federal Reserve, aimed at soothing investors' nerves, served only to rattle them further. Before the market Human Rights Watch report accuses the Myanmar military of recruiting children as young as 10 for their ranks. Mm -hmm. And the blast tore apart a bus in southern Russia. The explosion struck a municipal bus and police at the scene are working to determine the cause uh, of that explosion. More details when we get them. Over alleged Coming child abductions by a charity group affect the deployment of an EU force on the Darfur border. Sixteen Europeans are linked to the attempt to fly 103 children out of Africa. Meanwhile, the French government is facing withering criticism for allowing the operation to go as far as it did. Uh, senior international correspondent Jim Bitterman has the latest now from Paris. Practical matters as the war on terror and Middle Eastern issues. But as Phil Black reports, the talks with Mr. Brown could get off to a shaky start, despite yesterday's royal welcome. Eastern Afghanistan has left three people dead, including two children. Meanwhile, news reports from uh, southern Afghanistan say hundreds of villagers fled a developing battleground around 20 kilometers north of Kandahar city on Wednesday. Uh, residents reported the World Cancer Research Fund has found strong links between the risk of some cancers and what we eat. The group compiled data from some 7,000 global studies, as Sue Savile reports. Here in the UK, it's all about two rare birds killed last week on an estate where Prince Harry was hunting. The prince denies any involvement. Nina Nana has this report. A program that taught music to a generation, or renovated a group, including aid workers, are trying to smuggle 103 children out of Chad. The aid workers say it was an effort to place orphans from Darfur with European families. Alphonse Van Marsh reports. Afghan and U.S. forces in an eastern province has left three people dead. They included one militant and two children. Meanwhile, in southern Afghanistan, villagers are fleeing their homes north of Kandahar City, where a major battle is uh, waging. A provincial police chief says around 50 Taliban have been killed in three days of fighting. Barbara Starr has more now from the Pentagon.